Gizmo 305. What's up guys? Welcome back to Gizmo 305. Today I'm coming at you with a brand new amazing video guys. And if you read it on the title, yes guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my money in the bank playsets and setups as well as I'm also going to be giving you my predictions for this weekend's money in the bank matches, both men and women matches, as well as I'm going to be sharing with you every single thing I own money in the bank theme. So this is all a money in the bank uh, video guys. Now I know a lot of you are wondering Gizmo, are you going to be coming to Vegas? Are you going to be going to the event as you said you were guys? And the answer is no, unfortunately I'm not guys. I know I made the trip last year for SummerSlam all the way to Vegas, but this year I decided to skip on Money in the Bank and I'm going to tell you the reason why is number one, guys, my wife, shout out to you, Birdbird858, um, she was able to score me some amazing, amazing tickets. The following Monday night is Raw and it's here in San Diego. So yeah, I was like, if I can get this seats on Raw live right after a pay-per-view, I'm all in. So I'm going to be going to Raw here in San Diego. Now, let me tell you something freaking amazing, guys, about this. It's hot as hell. I don't know how hot it is in the area you live in, but here in California, we're literally 90 degrees by like 10 a.m. So it's unbearable. I cannot even imagine how hot it's going to be in Vegas. I remember how hot it was last year, and I'm not looking forward to that. The travel, and then, you know, having to turn right around and come back to, you know, California to be able to go to Raw and then meet and greets and whatnot. It was going to be a big mess, and I would have probably not been able to get nice seats there or nice seats here. I would have been able, uh, I wouldn't have been able to get, you know, nice seats on either one. I would have probably been like, you know, on, on mid area, and, and I just wanted to have and wanted to be able to go to an event, you know, where I can be on a nice area. And the wife came through with that. So once again, shout out to you for that. But guys, today's Money in the Bank theme, and it's not, you know, with all that, the video for that's going to be coming out next week, as I said, guys, but Money in the Bank is today. So if you guys are ready to take a look at my setups, to take a look at my figures, playsets, everything Money in the Bank theme, guys, hit me with the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and turn on that notification bell, guys. But without further ado, let's get started with the video. Let's go. guys and here you guys have it my money in the bank set up for the men's match if you guys don't remember this is the jacks pacific uh money in the bank real scale place it now this is a pretty freaking awesome place it and i'm gonna tell you i added on that light right there see that light rig at the very top that comes so in handy and the main thing is guys with this light rig on there i can actually change the colors if i want it to be blue if I want it to be yellow, purple, we got all the colors. See what I'm saying? And we can have this going off like this for entrances. This is freaking awesome and it comes in handy for any occasion, guys. But also, you can turn it on and just have it, you know, light up your arena like so. We have Riddle out here battling with Zami Zayn, two of the competitors on this Saturday's uh, match. We also have Sheamus and Drew McIntyre right there. We have Seth Rollins getting a hold of the briefcase. But we're missing one, guys. We're missing one more entrant into this match. And I have uh, one of three choices of who I believe might be the entrance to this match as the last opponent. So I'm going to go ahead and share those with you right now. Rollins. Rollins might have the briefcase. Go big, then say that. Oh, what? No way. Big E. Rollins thought he had it. It's Big E. And Seth Rollins is going to win this match. He's literally there at the briefcase. Oh my! Oh my! Could it be? The Rated R Super 
Superstar is here! Edge is in Money in the Bank! He's the last entrant here tonight! Oh my, this place has come unglued! The expert on tables, ladders, and chairs is in Money in the Bank! And Rollins seems to have the money in the bank briefcase. Oh my god! No way! No way! Rollins looks like he's seen a ghost! It can't be real! He's supposed to be out for up to nine months! And the crowd is going crazy for the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. All right, guys, and here are my three choices for entrance on that last spot. In the Money in the Bank man's match, I think it would be freaking epic. Either way, for all three of these guys, whichever one enters, I mean, we all know we want to see Cody back and get payback on Rollins. And that would be the perfect way for him to show up at Money in the Bank. Fool everybody, make everyone believe, even Rollins, that he would be out for a long period of time just to capture what has always eluded him, that money in the bank briefcase right there man that would be epic another one would be my boy the rated r superstar which just got kicked out of judgment day and hasn't been seen since this would be a good way to refresh and restart his career on raw get that briefcase go after roman reigns and get the universal undisputed title that would be freaking awesome to see as well now i mean that is a little bit less likely I want to say because I feel like they are preparing him to be on some sort of feud with Finn Balor and the Judgment Day. But hey, one can only dream, right? And here, all that is all good to go. So one last choice would be Big E. He's been out with a neck injury. And I would seriously love to see him come back and win the Money in the Bank once again back to back. That would be freaking awesome for a man who was supposed to have to retire, which I've been to this moment. We really don't know if he is or not but i'm just i'm just saying you know it'd be pretty cool to see Big E come back and get that spot that is if they leave it open as it is right now if they don't uh come up with something on friday night smackdown where they're like well last spot filler we will have to find someone in which case i hope is somebody from the roster like ricochet aj styles mainly ricochet or ray mysterio either one of those choices would be great as well but if it's like a mystery spot that we show up like that all the way to the event it would be freaking awesome to see one of these three guys join it and possibly winning it. All right, guys, and out of the superstars that have already been announced for the match, who do I pick for the win? Who do I think would have an edge on winning this match? Not counting those who I would like to see join the match, uh, but these ones who have already been uh, announced for Money in the Bank. I'm going to say riddle riddle for the win i do feel that he's been getting a huge push and i think at the end is going to come down to him and rollins uh and riddle will then come with the win that like i said if any of these three gentlemen do not end up joining the match in which case i think that even if edge or biggie join i don't see their chances of winning being that high uh, even though it would be amazing as i said i do see cody winning it if he does come back uh mainly because he would be taking it from rollins but as it sits let's say they add aj styles ricochet or someone else uh yeah the win will be then for riddle And just like that, guys, we move on to the women's version of the Money in the Bank match. And here we are with the brand new playset from Mattel now. This one releasing back in 2019. I picked it up this I uh, picked this up from uh, Amazon uh for 50 bucks at the time. And it's crazy to see that you know a few years have gone by and now it's selling uh, the only listing I saw 
was for uh, $500 plus shipping, which that is ridiculous. So if you guys want to see a full breakdown review of this place, that it's here on the channel, guys. Make sure you guys go down and check that out if you want to. But I just wanted to have the theme money in the bank here. So we have the arena. We have the place in here. And we have some of the women's in the match. We have Alexa Bliss right there. We have Asuka and Becky Lynch going at it right there. We have Liv Morgan. And we also have Lacey Evans right there. And here we have Stephanie McGann, but she's going since we don't have a Raquel figure, so I'm going to be using it as Raquel. We don't have a Shotzi Blackheart, so just keep that in mind that she's also part of this match. So we have Shotzi Blackheart. And on the last match with the Mans, we also have Omos. So I forgot about the giant Omos also being part of that match. Uh, you know, and he's going to be in it. I mean, still, I don't think he's going to win it. I completely doubt it. That would be insane if he's the one that wins the match. It'll be just my luck, right? But here we have the women's. And from this match, I'm going to tell you who I think should win. Uh, or who do I think is going to win. And then I'm going to tell you who do I think it should win. Who I want to win. So without further ado, let's get on to that. Now here, I'm going to give you one last overview of this setup. There you guys have it. And now... Let's get on to the predictions. Let's go. All right, guys. And here are the women competitors for the Money in the Bank this Saturday. Now, we are missing Shotzi Blackheart. And we are missing a Raquel Gonzalez. So, I just threw in Steph right there as our Raquel for today for this video. And I'm going to be sharing with you who I think is going to win first. And then I'm going to tell you who I wish would win. So my pick that I think would be will be winning this uh, Money in the Bank, it's got to be Big Time Bex, right? I mean, we've all been seeing how she's been getting pushed. And I do feel that they're going to uh, move her away from Bianca Belair. And I know she has something going on with Asuka. But I got a feeling that they're going to try to, you know, give her a little bit of a breather, a refreshment. And they're going to go ahead and give her the briefcase so that she can move on, maybe cash in on Ronda Rousey. That rivalry that, you know, kind of got put on pause for a little while. So she could be going for the SmackDown title now and cash in on Ronda. That would be something that I do see happening here. As well as another person is Lacey Evans. Now, you guys know she's also been getting a push up on her return. And I do see WWE maybe giving her that briefcase and just pretty much pushing her to the moon. Those are my two picks that I do feel that WWE is uh, behind to be winners. Now, who would I want to see win? I mean, I, we've seen Asuka. We've seen Lexi. Uh, Raquel Gonzalez, I mean, she just came to the main roster. I don't think that right off the bat she'll be winning it. That would be pretty cool. But I think the right choice is Liv Morgan. It would be freaking awesome to see Liv win that briefcase. I mean, I would like to see her get a title shot and be champion, whether on Raw or SmackDown. That would be freaking awesome if we could give Liv Morgan the briefcase. So I'm going to say WWE and their plans. Yeah, they're probably looking at Becky or they're looking at Lacey, but I, it should definitely be Liv Morgan. Let me know what you guys think on the comment section. All right, and now let me go ahead and share with you guys some of my Money in the Bank items that I have in my collection. All right, guys, and we're going to start off with the Fan Central Battle Pack, Toys R Us exclusive, Edge and Seth Rollins. And it looks freaking awesome. As you can see right here, this was a pretty sweet uh, battle pack to have. You get a basic figure of Edge and Rollins as well. You have that money in the bank briefcase right there. You have a ladder and a table as well in the back, as you can see right there. Now, turning it to the side right here, we have an image of Rollins and Edge right there. It says Fan Central. And if we turn it all the way to the back, you get some stats and some cool stuff right here in the back. It says Fan Fantasy Rivalry, bought it by fans for fans. So, you know, Fan Fan Central, as you guys know, uh, now got renamed to Fan Takeover on Amazon. So here we have uh, some stats, at least up until the time of the release of this place. This is Seth Rollins from 2016, Davenport, Iowa, six foot one, 217 pounds, and his finisher was the Pedigree. If you guys remember, he got the curb stomp banned for a little while, so they had to add the Pedigree. That's what he was using. 
And here we have Edge uh, from his stats in 2009, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Six foot five, 241 pounds. And the man has always been known for the spear. Says the, the two most cunning superstars meet their match when the architect faces the ultimate opportunist. This is freaking awesome. I also do have the Sting and the Undertaker down here. So these were like fantasy matches. The fans would have loved to see him. We actually got to see this one. And as you guys know, it did not disappoint. This was fire. And I love having this in my collection. All right, guys. And up next, we have the Money in the Bank. Seth Cash's in figure right here. Toys R Us exclusive as well. And before there was true effects, we only had high detail action figures, but that's okay. Because this set, let me tell you, it's freaking awesome. So it's right there, Seth Rollins, WrestleMania, cash in on March 29, 2015. Elite collection right there. And we do have the money in the bank right there, Seth Cash is in. The WWE logo up here on the corner. And we do have the WWE Championship right there, as you can see. Now, this is a custom figure I made. So, I made the whole vest, as you can see right there, because Mattel didn't give us that. I made the whole vest. I added some stuff, and I uh, put this figure on there, which, you know, it's it's still pretty freaking awesome. It's a pretty sweet elite. I love those tights always on Rollins. Uh, that's one thing I do miss of, of from him, you know, actually... Now, being a little bit more creative to his gear, now that he is the visionary, we don't get that much detail onto his gear. I feel like it's just more of like random looks than, you know, it used to be. But here we have a picture of Mr. Rollins down here with the WWE Championship. WrestleMania 29, 2015 right there. And it says Rollins here on the side, on the side of the package as well. And if we turn it all the way around right there, we have an image of Rollins himself with the title. And a small little bio down here. If you want to go ahead and pause to read yourself, you can. But I'm going to read it for all of you guys here real fast. So Seth Rollins walk into Levi's Stadium in San Jose for WrestleMania 31 with more baggage than most superstars. The extra baggage was the Money in the Bank briefcase that he'd been lugging around just waiting for the perfect opportunity to cash in after a stunning defeat at the hands of rival Randy Orton Rollins. Fans may have been disappointed, but Mr. Money in the Bank was just getting started in a show-stopping move. Rollins became the first superstar to not only cash in a briefcase at WrestleMania, but to do so in the middle of a match. Having suddenly turned Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns into an epic triple threat match, Rollins curb stomp both opponents to take home the WWE Heavyweight Championship on WWE's biggest stage. Seth Rollins pick his moment and prove to the world that the future is now. And let me tell you, if you look at what's going on right now in Money in the Bank, if Rollins were to cash in that, if let's say Rollins was to win it, like I said, because he's one of my uh, picks to win it. If it was to win it, and at SummerSlam, we have Lesnar and Reigns again. And this dude was to do the same thing again. That would be freaking insane. I'm just I'm just calling it right now. That would be freaking insane. But this is an awesome figure. And again, another gem that I love having in my collection. And lastly, but surely not least, we have the Money in the Bank briefcase. Now, if you guys remember when Mattel came out with this, a lot of people I remember at Toys R Us, looking at this item right here sideways is like, should I pick it up? Should I not? And I said to myself, why not? Go ahead and get it. Don't listen to other people. Uh, at some point, you'll have some use for this. So here's my briefcase. I've had it for a few years now, as I said, guys. And believe me, I'm going to share with you what's inside it. Is, is there money? Is there a contract for a championship match? Uh, you know, at any time of my choosing. No, there's not. But I'm going to share with you what's inside there. And it's come really, really handy for me. So let me go ahead and open it and share with you what's inside now. All right. And here I've turned it around to its side so that we can go ahead and come here. Click that side. Click this side, and now let's see what awaits for us in here in the briefcase. Yep, this is where I keep my championship belts. And as you can see, I have a large, large collection here of championship belts. So here's where I keep them. When I need a championship belt for a superstar or for whatever, there it is. It's basically gold here, and uh, there you guys have it. I have all types of championships. 
for my superstars from you know accessories that they come with or whatever so here i have my figure championship belts and this is what i do with my briefcase but this was my money in the bank predictions and setup guys i hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you did remember give me a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on that notification bell it'll let you know next time i'll be uploading here on youtube but for now it's been gizmo 305 and i'll talk to you guys on my next video Bye.